Uh, good morning. Uh, Wall Street uh, reverse early gain uh, and close in the red as uh, uh, the uh, Treasury yield hit decades low, heightening investor uh, worries about the economic outlook. And the Dow down uh, 237 points and Nasdaq down 29 points. And the uh, Hong Kong stock market have a, a moderate rebound yesterday uh, with the Hang Seng Index uh, up uh, 102 points and turnover increased significantly to uh, 126 uh, billion. And I think which is uh, uh, pretty much related to the increase in the uh, factors of uh, Asia's inclusion in the MSCI uh, index from 5% to 10%, uh, which uh, become effective uh, yesterday. And the Asia's market also uh, uh, benefit from uh, the uh, liquidity injection by PBOC in the past two days, uh, which amount to uh, 150 billion. And um, and also uh, uh, the foreign uh, uh, buying on Asia's uh, re uh, register a net inflow of uh, 5.6 billion and ended the uh, net outflow uh, eight days in a row. And um, Hong Kong shares in uh, ADL's market um, uh, down another 166 points and suggesting a uh, negative opening today. I think that the, now the investor will shift the focus on the uh, global economic outlook and the U.S. Treasury yield curve uh, inversion depends is also uh, interpreted as a sign that the a recession is looming. And so investor will uh, take more crews from the uh, upcoming uh, PMI data uh, to be released by China uh, on Friday. Uh, but we expect that the data will not be too good uh, due to the um, uh, uh, trade war uh, tension. And also note 12 uh, the um, uh, Hong Kong futures uh, will be expired tomorrow and uh, Dominic, uh, dominant bear will continue to push down the index uh, for uh, settlement. So uh, uh, overall, uh, the uh, market correction is not over yet. Uh, so we still advise investors to stay on the sideline, uh, waiting for a uh, better entry uh, opportunity. Thank you.